I think we have seen a stabilization of the rupee since September last year, but I think we're now entering a period of renewed risk for the rupee because of the uncertainty about the upcoming elections. Uh, the national elections for uh, the Indian Parliament are due to be held in April and May uh, 2014, and there is great, a great deal of uncertainty about what kind of government will emerge from these elections. It will probably be some form of coalition government, but it's very unclear which parties will form that alliance, whether it will be led by Congress, which is currently the leader of the coalition government, or will it be the opposition BJP? And I think what will concern global investors particularly is if it's a weak, fragmented coalition government that emerges from the next election, whether it's a coalition led by Congress or by the opposition BJP that takes office after the election. Uh, I think if it's a weak, fragmented coalition that cannot deliver crucial economic reforms for India, then this will be uh, a, a negative signal for the rupee and investors may reduce their asset allocation towards Indian assets and sell down the rupee further. We expect the rupee to average around 64 against the US dollar this year and we actually expect it to dep depreciate a bit further by the end of this year. It's currently trading around 62 to the US dollar. We expect it to end the year at about 65. I think given the uncertainty uh, around the Indian elections, global investors uh, need to be a bit cautious about their positioning for, uh, ahead of the elections, given the uncertainty about the outcome, which would indicate an underweight to Indian asset classes in general. If you're an India-based investor and don't have the rupee risk to be so concerned about, then uh, I think within the Indian asset class spectrum, fixed income looks probably the most attractive right now because inflationary pressures are easing somewhat which will be positive for uh, Indian domestic bonds.